The American poet Robert Frost was born in San Francisco, California in 1874. His first poem was published in The Independent when he was only 20 years old. For many years after that, he worked as a farmer and a teacher and struggled to get his work published. Later, he moved to England with his family. His first set of poems was published in England. Frost returned to America a few years later and became a celebrated poet. He went on to win four Pulitzer prizes. He was invited by President Kennedy to read a poem at Kennedy's inauguration. Robert Frost was inspired by life in rural America. Most of his poems are about nature or ordinary people and their everyday situations. What's interesting about the poem The Road Not Taken is that Frost does not merely write about the road taken but also highlights the road that was not taken. In other words, the choices we make or do not make often shape our destiny. Let's take a closer look at the poem The Road Not Taken and see what it's about. One autumn morning, the speaker walks through the woods. He comes across a fork in the road. He stands for a long time, wondering which of the two roads he should take. He feels sorry that he cannot walk down both of them at once. He peers down one road to see where it goes, but he can only see up to the first bend as plants and foliage block his view. He then decides to take the other road, which is grassy. Initially, he thinks the road he has chosen has not been walked upon, but later he concludes it is as worn as the other road. He dwells that both roads are equally covered with leaves. On that morning, the leaves have not been crushed under people's steps. The speaker tells himself that he will come back and take the other road sometime in the future. Yet, deep down he knows that the road he has chosen will lead him to other ways which will take him far from where he has started. It is unlikely that he will ever come back and take the other road. The speaker thinks that someday in the future, he will look back at his decision with a sigh. He will then claim that he has chosen the road less traveled and this choice has changed his life. The poem uses certain literary elements to enhance its form and content. The road in the poem functions as a metaphor. It is a metaphor for the choices that one must make in the course of his or her life. The poet uses phrases such as yellow wood, undergrowth, grassy and lean leaves to create an image of a forest in autumn. Alliteration is often used to enhance the musical quality of a poem. The phrase wanted where is an example of alliteration from this poem. Here it adds to the lyrical tone that Frost has used throughout the poem. So, Frost's poem deals with the choices that one makes in life. It also deals with the regret one feels of choosing one choice over the other. Let us now examine the rhyme scheme of the poem. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood, And looked down one as far as I could, To where it bent in the undergrowth. The rhyming words in the stanza are, Wood, stood, could, both, undergrowth. To find the rhyme scheme, we have to label each set of rhyming words. So if wood is A, both will be B. The rhyming words for would are stood and could, so they will be labelled A as well. The rhyming word for both is undergrowth, so it will be labelled B. Therefore, our rhyme scheme for this stanza is ABAAB. All stanzas in this poem follow the rhyme scheme ABAAB. -A -A 